Hey there guys, Fabian Ratzak here again, and this time demoing the great Friedman Plex amp for Tonex from Amalgam Audio. I have to say this is really one of my, if not my favorite kind of amp I like to use um, because I always love the Friedman stuff and especially that Friedman Plex, uh, which is um, basically um, it's an amp that he creates to um, recreate his own Marshall JMP50, I think. I'm not really sure which exactly model from the um, and 60s, I think. And uh, it's his favorite amp and he designed a new uh, amp to really replicate this kind of tone. So, without further ado, um, I'm going straight into my Foxrite interface. I'm using different guitars. I'm using this time a Strat a Telecaster and um, Les Paul guitar just to show you the versatility of the amp and how they capture sound with different guitars. I'm, I'm using some captures, not all of them. All of them really sound killer, I have to say. But um, without further ado, let's start with a, with a clean tone at first. And this is the Friedman Flex Jump Clean. Oh, by the way, I should say this is a DI capture set. So you get two. IRs from Kali's. Um, you get um, this one here. This is a Marshall 4x12 with greenbacks and V30s. And then you get the standard, um, his standard Pulse Sonic, really nice cabinet um, with, uh, with the greenbacks, the uh, 75 hertz. And um, it's, it's a classic. And we can choose. And I will also um, show how it sounds with different IRs because, as you know, I'm a big fan of the DIs because it gives you so much more versatility uh, overall of the tone. And it really isn't complicated. You just uh, load them, load the presets in, Carly's design presets, uh, also with the tone models. Um, here I um, pre-designed some of them because of the noise in my studio, just a noise gate and a reverb if I want. I can turn it off and so I don't have to switch with every preset to waste your time. So without further ado, let's start right away with the Friedman Flex Jump Clean Fat setting with a Stratocaster. Let's add some reverb, neck pickup. So with the Friedman Plex, Carly style in a very nice clean tone. This was uh, with a Stratocaster. Um, I think the fat sound, um, the fat sounding presets or tone models Carlis design, especially with strats and single coil style guitars. But anyway, let's try this one with a Les Paul. I have to adjust the, the input a little bit on my interface because, uh, you know, single chords and humbuckers. So just second, let's start with a neck pickup without any reverb. Also some reverb. Definitely a sound and I love it. It's great. It has enough spankiness with the Strat. It sometimes can get a little bit too much, but I'll show you something um, which is also really handy. 
Now let's grab the tailor for this because the tailor caster also is a little bit brighter. Let's go to the in between. So what you can do, just use your treble knob. Even less, use more mids. Sounds way more better with these kind of guitars. But anyway, I love this spanky tone. Let's get it back in shape. Works nice, very nice. Um, let's go to the next tone. Let's sort this a little bit out. Let's use some, let's go in direction how you would uh, choose an amp. So basically, let's try the Edge Fab maybe without any reverb. First with the Telecaster. Ah, let's decrease the input gain. Sorry. <laughs> Sounds killer, with Telecaster. Let's try this one with a less ball. Much more output, so decrease the inputs on the interface. Oh, I'm in Rupti. Let's add some reverb. I should add some reverb. Really nice. Let's try this one. Stratocaster. Increase the input. Let's first go without any reverb. Let's put in some reverb. A bit less. Yes, also with the Stratocaster, I tend to like it. I like the brighter tones a lot. So let's keep going on. Um, let's go uh, where I prepared the ones. Yes, Edged Balanced. We had this already. So let's try maybe, I oh know we had Edge Fat. So let's try Edge Balanced with the Les Paul. Works. Reverb off. So while we're here, let's try to switch maybe the cabinet. So this one is the 4x12 with the greenback and the preferred. Try the other one, which is also engaged in this package. I'm going to think I'm going to find it. It's here. The one. I 
subtle differences, but they're definitely there. So that's a great thing to have and very handy. And for example, just to go crazy, let's try um, the one Kali suggested. Let's try the Mesa one. It's a whole different experience. Subtleties, but they work out in a mix, believe me, guys. Um, all right, so let's keep going on with maybe a crunch setting. Edge, drive, crunch. Let's try the bright number two with the last board. <laughs> This is really the strong side of the amp. It can handle all, all the other stuff, but for, especially for that crunch and more gainy sound, this is fantastic, really. All right, so let's add some reverb and see what comes out. <laughs> That's great sound. Let's try another crunch setting. This time, maybe, let's see what I prepared so far. The crunch balance with a Telecaster. Increased input gain. Let's switch off the reverb. That's a nice tone. I love that. That's so so freaking great. Let's keep going on with the uh, with the settings. Maybe we should let's do the dimed. Although I haven't created preset, let's do this. Uh, dimed thin and thin is always an indicator for less balls. At least for me, because it works really nice. Uh, let's tune that thing. Killer tone. Let's try this one with a little bit of reverb. The plate reverb is always nice. Enjoying that a lot. Also, this amp sounds fantastic when rolling back. So this also really, really shines with the Friedman plaques, which I enjoy so much. 
But I guess you guys are also here for the kind of 80s, kind of Van Halenish kind of tone. And let's try that with a bright, all on 10 bright setting. Uh, let's do some reverb because I think it's great. This really works killer with with this amp. There you are. That's the brown tone, at least for me. It sounds so great. But let's, uh, on the other side, try the fat setting, which tends to sound a little bit fatter. So let's try this. Maybe some reverb. What is the fat setting? I know the strat can sound a little bit harsh, so let's maybe try the telecaster, which is a little bit less harsh. <laughs> Very saucy. Let's give the reverb off for, for a second. Also works nice for that 80s kind of tone of an hell niche or whatever. That, this is really an amazing piece of gear. And Carly's did a fantastic job um, using all these capturing methods to uh, dial in the amp correct. And maybe uh, another thing, let's try the All on 10 Bright with the Les Paul again. And um, maybe changing cabinets. It's also nice. Do this, but without any reverb. So let's try this and see what happened. All right. So this is what the one Carly suggested. Let's try the E30. Try the matchless. Try the 
Oh, maybe the one by 12 Oxford. <laughs> Let's try the Tonking Imperial one. Uh, I give you a last one, the Cinema Alnico Bright. <laughs> also, this is a very bright amp. This can be a little bit too much, I guess, but um, you get the point, and that's what I'm always talking about. Find your favorite IR. Use it. The one Carlis is sending along are perfect. They're really nice balance and definitely one of my favorite IRs. I also use different IRs from different companies. And uh, I guess there are many great options. And with the DIs, you can create your own presets. And in the mix, you can find out what works best. And I think what inspires or what fits the mix best is uh, the best what you want. So thanks for watching. Please get the Friedman Plex because I think it needs to be there if you like the Marshall kind of tones with a modern touch, um, a little bit a, a little bit different than the vintage ones um, Carlis did before. There are a lot more gains, a lot more aggression, a lot more tightness, a uh, lot more modern sounding, but also very vintage in the same way. So um, we're also looking forward for the... Uh, this is this was always the variac mode on also with the low settings because i think they will work even very very nice with the strat and single coil guitars even though i can easily get killer tones with a, a single coil guitars with these uh, captures and don't forget to use the equalizer guys we have this in advantage to the real thing you have one capture you can do great eqing with it you have the reverb you have the noise gate so basically with the original amp, sure, in the room with the right cabinet, it will blow you away. But there are other ways to create this also with the Tonex. And the good thing is here you can use effects. I can use delay. I can re uh, use reverb. With the original amp, you need another unit to, to get an extra FX loop. And no questions about it if you dial in the real thing in the room and turn it off loud. Jesus, we are there. <laughs> So anyway, get this package if you like what, what you're hearing and um, see you next time. Thanks, bye.